Well, look how cute she is. How cute. You're so darn cute. Well, <laughs> the time has come. It is the girls' camping trip now. Yay! So, if a lot of you guys don't know about the girls' camping trip, I had announced on my channel uh, a little while back uh, that I wanted to do a girls' camping trip somewhere for all girls because I get a lot of <clears throat> females that reach out to me, want to know how I live this lifestyle, how I do it, um, how I get over my fears, and, you know, just all that stuff. And so I thought it would be nice if I could just do a girls camping trip <clears throat> and kind of just share how I do everything and how I'm able to do it with not living in fear and and so on forth. So um and I know, you know, it's all girls, no guys, but sometimes the girls can feel a little bit more comfortable if it's just a bunch of ladies so and no guys so sorry guys hope you guys understand so yesterday um the first day we had eight girls arrive um and then there's supposed to be some more girls that said they were going to arrive today and tomorrow and then even on the last day. But because it was so difficult to keep up with all these emails and everything, um, I honestly don't know how many more girls are coming. But to be honest with you, I was happy if one showed up. Uh, I have somebody to hang out with. Yay! Um, the group of girls that showed up yesterday have been pretty awesome. Uh, pretty pretty nice girls pretty group of people out here and everybody has different different vehicles that they're Different ways of camping right now. So we have a travel trailer here, which is a camper. We have a class C RV We have a couple of vans uh, We have a forerunner uh, with a, a truck topper thing on the back and then we have a a lady in a truck that's camping in a tent and then a lady that's just in a car camping and then a some some weird lady that's in a freaking jeep me <laughs> so i'm pretty excited uh weather has been a little iffy so um hoping that we can get some clear skies today at least for one or two days. Come on, weather. Let's work with 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 Sarah and these girls today, please. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm excited to be hanging out with all these girls and meeting them. Some of them I have already met. They've come to a couple of my meet and greets, so I was already fortunate enough to meet some of them. And a couple of them have small little YouTube channels. So, um, what I'm going to do is when I introduce everyone, I'm just going to let everybody say what their YouTube channel is when I film them. And, uh, you guys go check out their, their YouTube channels and, uh, show them some, some support. Uh, at least go to one of their videos and comment underneath their video and say, Wondering Jeepsy sent me, figured I'd say hi. And some of them have some cute little doggies, too. So, we know how I feel about doggies. Alright, I'm going to go make me some coffee. Get this day started. Get dressed. And all that good stuff. So... Okay, so, real quick, it was a little difficult trying to figure out where to do this girls camping trip at. Um, 
originally I wanted to do it like on BLM land somewhere or like in the middle of nowhere and free camping and stuff. Um, but when I sent out the email to a lot of the girls and everything, uh, some of them were not self-contained and they didn't understand how to be self-contained. So meaning they didn't have their own toilet, you know, bathroom. And I didn't know how comfortable they would be with me saying, well, dig a hole and use the bathroom in the hole. Because uh, I know in the beginning I would have been like, what? No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so um, I decided that I needed to do it at an established campground where there was a bathroom for the ladies that didn't have their own bathroom. So then that was a task because then I started looking up like group campsites at like campgrounds and stuff like state parks and everything and oh my freaking goodness they're like $200 a night for group campsites and I'm not even paying $200 for one night uh, for the whole entire trip that's just crazy so One of my coffee's about to boil. And there it goes. So then it dawned on me this one place that I stayed at before. And I'd done a video not too long ago of this place. And I found this place originally on Hip Camp, but they have a whole entire website here and everything. So if you guys remember, when I did a video of a hip camp place called a spark in the dark campground. So I thought of that place because the owner of the property of that hip camp place, he was such an awesome person, like had such a great vibe and like just, just a great person. And then the video that I filmed, of his campground and everything he put it on his website and everything so that was awesome so i called him up and i'm like i told him that i wanted to do a girls camping trip told him what it was all about and everything and he did not even hesitate or anything he was excited for me to throw my event here and him be the host of it and everything meaning because it is a girls camping trip meaning he's just hosting the, the event with his property. He's not over here hanging out and stuff like that, though the girls have gone over and met him and everything. So I'm so glad that I thought about calling him because he has a bathroom here. The place is like all the girls that arrived yesterday, they have fallen in love with the place. Some of them are talking about coming back and everything. So I picked a great, great place. Okay, so one of the things we learned on this girls camping trip right here is teamwork. Look at that. Great job, girls. Great job. <laughs> Look at that teamwork right there. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. Woohoo! So Miss Bonnie right there, she was way over there in a whole nother country, way over there all by herself. And, uh, oh, there's her truck. Way over there. See? Her truck right there. So she was pretty far from us, so she decided to move her tent over here so she could be closer and come over to our country. And then over here we have... This is, this is the loudest neighbor ever. No, I'm just kidding. That's little Hank right there. He's... He's just saying hi to everybody in YouTube world. I know. I know. My goodness. He's waiting on his mommy right there to get over here. The weather has not been permitting with us. Literally, Mother Nature has been very temperamental and moody and going through some mood swings because when I arrived here, it said weather was going to be nice and clear, no rain. And yesterday, it said it was going to be start raining 
the following morning and then a little bit in the morning and it was going to be clear for the rest of the days and go figure now mother nature has told us that it's going to rain the whole entire time that we're doing this girls camping trip go figure but thank god i have this structure right here that he has on his campground because this is where i'm able to cook because of the wind and the rain and everything it's got a nice little cover right here that i can block off the front entrance to and everything so thank goodness for that but it kind of sucks for the other girls that are here because they don't have this structure i'm the special one <laughs> but anyways real quick because this lady is about to leave because she unfortunately is in a very low profile car so uh without four-wheel drive and everything so she needs to get off of this mountain with all the dirt and everything because she doesn't want to get stuck up here in the mud so unfortunately she has to leave but i'm so glad that allison here Hi. was able to make it out and allison actually came all the way to tacopa for the tacopa fundraiser to meet me and wonder hussy when we were out there doing the meet and greet and this lovely lady right here makes some amazing amazing rocks actually so she made me one and brought it to me in tacopa and then she made me another one and mailed it to my p.o box which my aunt checks but then she made me this one right here. And if you guys know, a deer is my spirit animal. And it says Ash Fork because that's where we're doing the girls camping trip. But not only did she make me this amazing rock, she made the owner of the campground a rock with the name of his campground on it. And then he, she made each individual girl a rock also. Like that's so sweet and so awesome. So do you want to tell me, tell them a little bit about how you make the rocks? Well, sure. Um, I live in Oceanside, California, and I go down to the beach and collect the rocks that come up from the shore. And we have an abundance of them. And I checked legality wise, it's okay to do that. And I take them home. And one day I just realized I love miniature things too. And I put something on top of the rock and I go, I could write little stories about people and, pers people and places and things. So whenever I find somebody or something or a place that I like, I make them a rock. I don't actually sell them, I give them away. So anybody that's interested in one, you can find my uh, contact info from, info from Sarah. And if you email me, I will get back to you and I'll make you a rock. All you got to do is pay for shipping and handling. And that's it, really. Well, if you want, you can go ahead and say what your email is on here if you okay, like. Okay, my email is Alzin Wonderland, A-L-Z-N, the word Wonderland57 at gmail.com. I also have a little teeny weeny tiny YouTube channel with 69 subscribers. And I'm not looking to get subscribers. I'm basically just trying to document my life and little things that I do for my friends and family when I leave this planet. And we all are going to leave sometime. So anyway, um, if you want to see my channel, I have more rocks on there that will give you ideas if you want any. And my YouTube channel, I think, is Allison's Wonderland. I think. I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, Sarah, thank you so much. Of that course. That was so nice no. of you to do this. And you know, what you did for me was a really good thing because I was afraid to go camping. And now I'm not because this is probably the worst conditions I'll come up against. Well, unless I go to the snow or something like Alright, like I said, unfortunately this lovely weather that Mother Nature is blessing us with right now. So, uh, this is Miss Cindy though. Hi. Uh, she came out and hung out with us also for a day and a night. But, this is her two little babies <laughs> right here. They're the quietest chihuahuas I've ever met in my life. But look at this one right here that's really cold and shivering. Look at that. Who does that remind you of? <laughs> it reminds you of a little one. They're the same age, they weigh the same. The only thing different is that one right there has a 
has a nice little tan going on and little one is just pale and then this one is quiet and little one is loud <laughs> and then cindy here has my favorite name in the whole entire yeah. world because we all know my aunt's name is aunt cindy <laughs> so thank you so much for coming out and True, bringing nice the, the babies you. and oh look some more of the ladies came by to say hi hello Good morning so this over here is bonnie and she's from my place vegas <laughs> go knights go Knights go, nice go and this over here is lucille hi guys lucille's one of the people that i met in um quartzite and she actually uh because she has a youtube channel which we're gonna get to in a minute and she actually did a little video of me at my meet and greet um and my setup and everything so the the interview that she did of me is on her channel if you guys want to go check that out what's the name of your channel outdoor gypsy outdoor gypsy yeah, and that's not jeep not gypsy yeah gypsy. it's gypsy <laughs> <laughs> so so outdoor gypsy see i'm gypsy and that's gypsy, gypsy. <laughs> a little confusing. so uh and then bonnie over here she does have a youtube channel she's just here hanging out and uh Camping with the girls. Looking into it though. So, oh, yeah, she's looking into it. it. See? <laughs> Well, I guess the snakes have started coming out, so <laughs> it's not a rattlesnake. It's a bull snake. And actually those snakes right there eat the rattlesnakes. But I wasn't really paying attention walking on the road because I was trying to make it to the bathroom because I had to go tinkle and literally almost stepped on this snake so it kind of scared me for a second <laughs> and i had a little one right here with me so yeah there it is and we're just gonna let it on be <laughs> uh yeah so the snakes are out and then some of the girls went and did a little nature hike out that way out over there and they said that they uh, saw a rattlesnake and they got pictures of it so I'm not really scared of snakes you know because I used to have a couple myself but when you walk up on it and almost step on it it kind of gives you a little little scare a little shock there for a minute that's what happened to me. So that snake had to be at least, I mean, it was kind of curled up a little bit, but I, I'd say if it straightened out, it had to be at least probably four feet long. Jack Russell. She was my baby. Um, but I haven't gotten a dog after that. I, I wanted to cook everyone dinner one night to show my appreciation for them coming to the camping trip. But I also love to cook and love for people to taste my cooking. We had a few allergies and some vegans, so I made a vegetable pasta dish and a shrimp boil with sausage and corn. I'm glad that the weather cleared up enough time for us to all sit outside and enjoy the meal and hang out and share stories and enjoy the sunset.
The next morning, I woke up hoping for better weather, but it only got worse. Well, the weather has not been working with us for this girls camping trip. So we are on day three now, and go figure, we have a bad storm coming in right now. And it's supposed to last all night long, pouring down till seven in the morning. And oh, the winds are so bad right now, and they've been like this all day long. So tonight is the night that we're supposed to do the potluck, and we have this structure that I'm in, but it's not that big. So <coughs> we took some tarps. And we attach them to my Jeep and to the shelter. And we're hoping that that gives us more room to all be able to hang out underneath this <coughs> and also do the potluck. So, whew, it has been like this windy all day long. And right now it's like 4.30. So this has been, it's been rough. And this is a bad storm coming in right now. So we're trying to make the word boast of it. Who says girls can't figure things out during camp? And look at what we did with zip ties and gorilla tape and tarps and zip ties. <laughs> and we've made a little enclosure here. Let's hope this works. Well, plans have changed as you guys just saw with the tarps and everything. And you saw how crazy they were going and stuff. Well, we cannot have the potluck underneath the, the nice little fort that we made and all that. Because the winds got really, really bad and tore the tarps apart. Yay. So, me and a couple of the girls in the high winds and the massive rain that just poured down on us. Got soaking wet trying to get the tarps undone and everything with all the zip ties the tape and all that stuff but thank god some of the ladies here have an rv so we're going to do the potluck inside of the rv and go figure as soon as we move all our vehicles over here to the rv and get them all muddy and slid our way into here i didn't have my four-wheel drive on either so but <laughs> um and we get into the rv Look how calm that looks out there. Look at that over there. Look at that. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. And it's just sprinkling. Just That's it. <laughs> After all that hard work we just did and everything. But you've already, you guys, I've already showed y'all some of the ladies and introduced some of y'all. Um, you guys <laughs> have already met Lucille. Over here is Tracy. Watch how good I am. I've remembered everybody's names on this trip. <laughs> this is... No, I'm just kidding. Tabitha. <laughs> That's Tabitha. <laughs> Tracy, Janice, and Holly over here. And they're the ones who own this lovely RV right here that are letting us have the potluck in here. Yay. So thank you guys Yay. so much. Yay. Yay. They have become the host of the day. <laughs> All right, now it's time for us to chow down and eat some food and forget about this bad weather that we j just had oh and by the way the owner of the property texted me and said well if there's any ladies that were planning on leaving tomorrow you're gonna have to tell them that they're stuck up here at least until the next day Darn. so we are stuck up here right now because the roads are not accessible now so you guys are stuck with me <laughs> Janice and Holly over here. This is their RV camper that they let us come and do the potluck in. And everybody drove their vehicles over here. As we... Oh, it's cold. I mean, we got mud caked on tires. Over there. But look at... Get my tires. Let's have big tires on your vehicle, Sarah. Oh no. Stepping in mud. 
This isn't working out very well. Look at my shoe. <laughs> Look at my tires. That's going to be fun. The boots. Look at that. Ridiculous. Okay, so due to the really bad storm we got yesterday and all <laughs> night long, <coughs> my Jeep is covered in all this, well the tires are, because the ground that I'm on right now <coughs> is this kind of dirt. So meaning where I'm at right now, cannot get out of this area until this all dries up on the ground because the roads are not accessible. So I'm trying to scrape as much as I can off of my tires because I don't want this hardening and drying up on my tires because it's going to be difficult to drive on because as you guys see right now this is all caked on my tire so I have no tread right now and also I've come to realize living on the road like this I go down a lot of dirt roads and roads like this uh, to get to places to camp at and stuff and my tires get like this and I have come to learn that <coughs> a lot of car washes do not want you coming in with a whole bunch of mud like this in their car wash so I've actually literally been turned down at tons of car washes before so, that's another reason why I'm trying to get this as much as I can off of this. Because I am going to have to go to a car wash and hopefully I can find one that's close. Um, and I don't want them giving me any issues. Because I've got to be able to drive comfortably on the roads. So... That's what I'm doing this morning. I literally just woke up. I'm still in my pajamas. And I'm trying to get this mud off of my tires. All four of them. <laughs> what a great morning. See my rowdy, my rowdy neighbor. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say goodbye to Miss Janice and Holly. So they're leaving. Thank you guys for coming. It was so awesome. And thank y'all for being the host yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's yeah. the memory that's gonna last for a long time. I'll wait till you guys see the video um, and me underneath the tarps trying to film that. I'm glad you did. <laughs> yeah. I heard you guys had fun. Well, she did. By the time you guys see this part right here, y'all have already laughed and seen that part. So. <laughs> All right. Hugs. All right. You take care. Yes, definitely. Right. And I hope to hope to see you guys again. Yeah. So that would be yeah. awesome. trying to make my rounds and say goodbye to everybody so you guys remember seeing Lucille time. and great check out time. her YouTube channel it's a growing YouTube channel it's outdoor gypsy 
G Y P. Oh, that's right here. <laughs> it's not Jeep. It's Gypsy. So there we go. So yeah, y'all go check her out. It is a growing YouTube channel and it's pretty similar like mine. So, you know, traveling around, exploring and everything. And go figure the day that we are all leaving, we wake up and it's it is beautiful. a beautiful day. And for the next seven or eight days, it's supposed to be sunny and beautiful also. Murphy's Law, man. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> And then, yeah, so bye, hun. Aww. It was so good to uh, see it you was again. Great. Yeah. 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 And you hopefully, too. I'll uh, run into you yeah. down the road. Yeah, I'm sure. And then let me say goodbye to Miss uh, Tabitha real quick. Bye, honey. Bye. I'd go give uh, Hank over there yeah. a hug, but uh, that probably won't work out. Well. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hank over there. You know, he's he's just trying to say good morning to all of us. All right, ladies, I'll uh, see you down, see the, road. You down the road. All right, now I'm going to say bye to Miss Tracy. Too bad I don't uh, get to say bye to the little ones over there. They were so cute, Buddy and Hank, the other Hank. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate it. So um and go nights go yeah yes yes right. they're doing really good my fellow vegas yeah. person here oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go nights go, <laughs> go all nice right go. All well right. it was mm. good to see you and i'm sure we'll run into each other well, again you know well, if you sure. come down to port site well, or yeah. something oh, so yeah. sure shoot well, me sure. an email well, it was and a great time even though we yeah. weathered it but it was great well, i mean it was rainy well, it was windy well, it was cold well, but man we pulled off potlucks and everything well, we're well, like well, hey Go, go us. Yeah. Go nights go and go us. <laughs> yep. And look yeah. at this beautiful sky yeah. that we have right now. And I'm wearing a tank top. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so, it's shorts huh. on. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Crazy. Go yeah. figure. Thank you, Mother Nature. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Then we got one girl that's still sleeping, so I'm not able to say bye to her because I got to get on the road. But Donna, if you are watching, and I know you are, I just want to say it was very nice meeting you, hon. I'm sorry I didn't get to give you a hug, but, you know, us girls got to get our beauty rest. I get it. So, uh, I'll see you down the road sometime, Donna. All right, well, of course, I have to stop and say bye to the wonderful owner of this place because he was so awesome to let me throw this little girls camping trip event here. And like I said, he was so excited that he was going to host it here at his property. So thank you so, so much, Cliff. That was an absolute pleasure having you out again and all your ladies and everything. It was just a wild experience. Yeah, especially with this weather. <laughs> and then it. you guys have definitely got to go check out his website. Um, it's what is the website? It's the sparkcampground.com. The sparkcampground.com. And on his main main page on the website, if you scroll down, it says Wonder and Gypsy came to visit the the spark. If you click on that, he did such a nice little sweet little write up of me and my little micro dog cuz that's what he called her, a little <laughs> micro dog. So you guys got to go check that out because I thought that was so nice the little write up that he did. And if you're ever 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 in Arizona, definitely look this place up and stop by say hi to him and enjoy his wonderful property that he has i mean some of these girls have enjoyed his place so much that they're actually staying a few more nights so yeah check that out a spark in the dark campground and my favorite person of the whole entire place is miss sandy here we all know how i feel about doggies Bye, Sandy. Bye. It was so good to see you again. I know. I know. It was so good to see you again. I love me some Sandy. <laughs> oh, and then now she's awake. Was that you knocking? It say was. 
I did my goodbye and filmed it outside of your van. Did you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I was, I was like, I know you'll see this, so sorry I missed you. <laughs> I was inside getting ready for the day, and so I walked around to the other girls. I'm like, did you knock? And like, no, I think that was Sarah. <laughs> okay, well, now I get to say bye to yeah, Donna. Bye, bye honey. So great. I'm so proud of you, the community that you've built and the just the great support of the people that showed up. It's really a reflection of the community that you built and I'm so Aww, proud of well, you. Thank you. Yeah, we had a great group of girls that showed up. Great group. So thank you. Yeah. Well, although Mother Nature didn't bless us with great weather on all the days of this camping trip, we still made the most of it. I am blessed to have met such a great group of ladies, and I hope to remain friends with all of them. It was really nice to actually be able to hang out with people. On these travels, I don't get to hang out with others. I am always alone. I love being alone though, especially out here in nature, but sometimes it does get lonely. So it's refreshing to have some people to hang out with every once in a while. And I was lucky to have such great people to hang out with this time. Thank you so much, ladies. <laughs>